आज मैं आपको एक अनूठी बात बताने वाली हूं कि हमारे अंदर जो मन या माइंड नाम की संस्था है वो एक मिथ्या बात वो मिथ्या ऐसी है कि जब हम पैदा होते हैं तो हमारे अंदर ये मन नाम की बात कोई नहीं जब धीरे धीरे हम बाह्य में प्रतिक्रिया करते हैं दोनों तरह से या तो कोई हमें संस्कार बनाता है और कोई हमारे अंदर अहंकार का भाव जागृत होता है तब उन प्रतिक्रियाओं से जो हमारे अंदर चीज जागृत होती है वो बुलबुलों के तरह इकट्ठी हो जाती है और ये हमारे विचारों के बुलबुले हमारे अंदर मन नाम की एक कृत्रिम संस्था बना ये सारी चीजें हमारे अंदर ऐसी घटित होती है कि जिससे हम खुद ही बना करके और उसी की गुलाबी करते हैं जैसे घड़ी इंसान ने बनाई है और हम घड़ी की गुलामी करते हैं सहज में फिर आप कालातीत हो जाते हैं आप इससे परे हो जाते हैं समय आपके साथ चलने लगता है आप समय के पीछे नहीं दौड़ते अब कंप्यूटर आजकल लोग बना रहे हैं कंप्यूटर के बनाने से उसी की गुलामी लोग करने लगे और उस गुलामी में इस कदर बह गए हैं कि वो ये नहीं समझ पाते कि कंप्यूटर ही उनको पूरी तरह से दबोचे हुए हैं उनको कंट्रोल कर उसके ताबे में आ गए उसके काबू में आ गए और उसके बगैर इनका कुछ काम नहीं चल रहा अभी तक हिंदुस्तान में इसकी प्रथा इतनी आई नहीं नसीब समझ लीजिए नहीं तो आप भी दो और दो को मिलाना के लिए भी कंप्यूटर आप पूछे वो भी आप नहीं मिला पाएंगे क्योंकि अपनी बुद्धि आप इस्तेमाल नहीं कर पाए तो आपका जो मिस्टिक्स में बुद्धि का वास्तव्य है वो तो सत्य है किंतु ये जो मन है ये एक बनाई हुई कृत्रिम हमारी अपनी तरफ की जो प्रतिक्रियाएं हैं अहंकार की और, और हमारे संस्कारों की वो बनी हुई एक बहुत ही कृत्रिम सी एक क्षणिक चीज है फिर हम इसी से हमेशा प्लावित रहते हैं खास करके जो लोग अपने को बहुत ही सोचते हैं कि हम बहुत विद्वान बहुत समझदार बड़े पढ़े लिखे हैं उन्होंने इस मस्तिष्क को पूरे तरह से इस मन से भर दिया मन इनके ऊपर छाया हुआ और जहां चाहे मन वहीं बहकते रहते हैं उस बहाव में बहकते रहते हैं उस ओर चलते रहते हैं एक कृत्रिम सी चीज अपने अंदर स्थापित हो गई है जिसे हम मन कहते हैं असल में मन नाम की कोई चीज न थी न है इसीलिए मन से परे जाना ही सहज का कार्य जब आप मन से परे जाएंगे तभी आप उस शांति को प्राप्त कर सकते हैं क्योंकि मन हमेशा विचारों से जो कि अहंकार और हमारे संस्कार प्रति अहंकार से आते रहता है उसे आडोलित इसलिए कोई शांति आप महसूस नहीं कर सकते 
अगर शांति को आपको प्राप्त करना है तो इस कृत्रिम मन से परे जाना चाहिए और इसीलिए हमारे यहाँ जो प्रथम दशा सर्च की मानी जाती है जिसे कि हम निर्विचार समाधि कहते हैं उसको प्राप्त करना चाहिए उसके प्राप्त करते ही आप देखते हैं कि आप शांत हो जाते हैं आपके अंदर जमे हुए जो कुछ विचार हैं जो कि एकत्रित हो गए और जिनके कारण आप गलत गलत चीजों में घुसे रहते हैं और परेशान रहते हैं तकलीफ में रहते हैं वो सभी एक तरह से चीज मिल जाती ये विषय आज नया मैंने शुरू किया है क्योंकि अब भी हमारा निर्विचार में समाधिस्थ होना कुछ कम है और जब तक आप निर्विचार में उतरेंगे नहीं तब तक आप चारों तरफ फैली इस परमेश्वर की शक्ति को प्राप्त नहीं कर सकते उससे संबंधित नहीं थी यही तोड़ यही जो बीच में मन की जो स्थापना हुई है यही आपकी स्थिति जो कि योग में होनी चाहिए उसे खत्म कर आज मैंने सोचा कि थोड़ा अंग्रेजी में भी बोलना चाहिए क्योंकि यहाँ बहुत से प्रदेश से लोग आए इसी विषय को मैं अंग्रेजी में बताना चाहूंगी वी आर ऑल द टाइम सेटिस्फाइंग अवर सेल्फ बाई से ओ दैट्स माई माइंड माई माइंड वॉन्ट्स इट इसी लाइक वन Indian sir, who went to America, and he told me that Americans are manavede. Manavede means they are <coughs> mad after their mind. I said, "What do you mean?" He said, "I gave money to my wife to buy one bush shirt for me. She went and bought some skirts, and I have. She has many skirts, but she bought some skirts. So I asked her, 'Why did you buy <laughs> the skirts?' So she said." my mind said that you should buy the skirt so i bought skirt so this is what it is that the mind can take you to all kinds of wrong things because it has no connection with reality firstly and secondly it is a mythical thing absolutely mythical you see people think that whatever they have created it is out of their mind is a wrong idea absolutely wrong idea. all great scientists say einstein has said that i was tired trying to find out the theory of relativity very tired he had some concept like all scientists take up some sort of a concept and they try to build up their research on that and then i thought it's a wrong concept that i sandy said i went into the garden i said let's try and play with the soap bubbles I was playing with the soap bubbles like a small child and suddenly from somewhere unknown he says the theory of relativity dawned upon me many scientists have said that they don't know from where they get the science from where did they get it it has a special uh study now people are doing to find out how the scientists got these things and in a very sahaj manner even the way penicillin was discovered or anything was discovered by these people was not through the probing or manipulation of the mind but through some unknown force it came into their mind and that's what they thought that this was from their mind some some but most of them realized even newton realized that it is coming from something some source which i am not aware of as sir jogis you know it is the source of the divine power which is all pervading the param chaitanya you know because you can feel it you know it is there but even when you know you must know you have to go beyond your mind into thoughtless awareness minimum always i tell you meditate meditate because you should be in thoughtless awareness where you do not react so what happens you become a witness 
<coughs> you have become the witness of the whole drama, of the whole scene, and you are absolutely at ease with yourself, no problem. And what you are doing that you become an instrument of this Paramachaitanya, of this all pervading You are just watching, you are a witness, and as watching everything, you realize that whatever you watch cannot react on you. But you know what it is. And this is what is the state in which you understand the reality of the whole situation. I have told you many a times that if you are standing in the water, you are afraid that the waves will might kill you. But supposing you get into a boat, then you can watch those waves as something beautiful, maybe. If you learn how to swim, you can jump and bring back people who are getting drowned. This is exactly what happens when you are in that state that you can give realizations to others. You can put them in connection with the divine power. But first of all, you must know how to become thoughtlessly aware. Some people say, Mother, for a second only we become, for two seconds we become. Because, you see, in our mind, even if you come to Sajo, you have so many conditionings to begin with. First of all, if you are born an Indian, then you are identified with him. If you are born in England, you are identified with him. One thing I have noticed about Sahaja Yogis, once they get out of this nonsense of this mind, first thing they start criticizing the way they have been living in atmosphere. For example, they'll say, ah, this is Indian, now this is what the Indians are. Then he'll say, this is if they are British, they'll say, these are the British, you see. They will be the best to criticize. Even others cannot criticize as they criticize. For example, Europeans will <laughs> criticize. Europeans saying that, ah, Europeans, all right, I know Europeans very well. Like that. The mind itself, you see, starts seeing then what you can say that mind itself sees, sees that it's a myth. And then the cheating that takes place all the time, that the intelligence that cheats itself stops. You start seeing the thing in a proper, full manner because you don't react. To react is a sign of a person who is very conditioned. You can be conditioned by many other things, like you are born in a particular religion, no. As you know what has religion to do nowadays with human beings. <coughs> There's no real religion anywhere, it has become like a money orientation or you can say power orientation. That's why they are all fighting among themselves. And you know for definite that no religion is, is exclusive, but they fight. The reason is the mind is conditioned that you must fight for your religion. Now, they have no religion within. There's no religion that is working out in their lives. They might be the most corrupt, most immoral people, but they belong to a particular religion, like a club. And then they start, you see, identifying themselves as something and they have a right to do these things because they belong to a particular uh, religion or to cult and this and that. Now there are people who can really use this one. Though it is artificial, in modern times we are using so many artificial things, and this artificiality can creep into everything, like plastic. So this mind can penetrate into anything and it penetrates into the minds of people that's how Hitler managed all the young people of Germany. All these people who have been able to destroy the reasoning which is logical, 
not through the mind. If it is through the mind, it's no logic. It is just a reasoning that we can see clearly stupidity. Because this mind, which is just a bubble, as I told you, and is so limited that it cannot comprehend the beauty, the glory, the expanse of reality. This mind is just a collection of all the garbage, we should say, which we have to somehow or other deny and tell ourselves that I have to go beyond my mind. So-called mind of mind has done no good for me. And this mind of mind, which has been all the time controlling me, is just like the watch we have made and it is controlling us, or the, like the computer that controls us. So we have to be careful that we are the ones who have created this mind, and this mind has no business to control us. Many people try to control the mind. There's a way of doing it that I'll control my mind. Now try to understand how will you control the mind? Only through mind, either by ego or by your conditioning. You have no means of controlling your mind because it is the mind which you have created and that is just existing there which you cannot control, though you might think I can control. You have to go beyond this mind, and to go beyond this mind, the most helpful thing is Kundalini awake, Because she passes through your limbic area, pierces through your uh, fontanelle bone area, and just takes you away, out into the realm of reality, and the yoga takes place between your brain, I should say, your heart, with this all-pervading power. She's the one which connects. She's the one who does it. Many people are doing sajog, I know that. But it's difficult for them sometimes to get to meditation to establish this thoughtless awareness, which is an extremely important state which you all should achieve. So many surgeries are there, and I'm happy to know that they are getting deeper and deeper. But as long as they are in the turmoil of their mind, they cannot focus.